and you are watching my channel book junction so over the time a lot of you people have requested me over and over to sort of review the millennium series and uh, i also really wanted to do that but i was delaying it i don't know why but finally i sat down to talk about the series also i don't read a lot of series because it's just not my thing i usually like stand alone novels so the millennium series is a collection of swedish crime novels written by this Swedish journalist whose name was Stieg Larsson. Now when he was planning this series, he planned 10 books in this series but because of his unfortunate death that could not happen and we only have 3 books in this series. So the first book in the series is The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo and the Swedish name that is the original name of this book translates into Men Who Hate Women and uh, that's basically the central theme of this entire trilogy. So that that's why these books are also you know anti-misogynistic and since Stieg Larsson was a journalist himself so most probably he had the first hand experience in covering stories where uh, crimes were committed against Swedish women. Now there are mainly two primary characters Lisbeth Salander and Mikael Blomqvist and I'm really sorry if I'm pronouncing their names improperly but this is how I was reading the book and this is how I was imagining the names in my head. So Mikael Blomqvist is this investigative journalist who also owns this magazine called Millennium and from there the name Millennium comes and Lisbeth Salander is a genius of computers and technology. She is an exceptional hacker and she has photographic memory. Also there are some other characteristics of her character and personality that I will talk later on in this video. Now the story of this series starts with Blomquist and Salander partnering up to solve and investigate this particular case of Henrik Wanger's niece's disappearance and the case in itself is very fascinating but the book uh, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo actually starts really really slow so there is this entire business crisis and financial crisis with which Blomquist is suffering and to explain that the book starts pretty slow so you have to read all of that business stuff and political stuff to understand what's going on in the life of Blomquist that will push him to take up this case otherwise he would not take up this case right so that is how the series starts and honestly if I ever make a video where I recommend you thrillers then I will definitely add this one because this is an amazing thriller this is amazing one of the best crime novels I have read and definitely it starts slow but as the story continues and as the uh, you know the entire premise builds up it gets unput downable you cannot put this book away because it just so interesting now the girl with the dragon tattoo is sort of like a standalone novel as well so if you read this book only and don't read the other two books it won't make much of a difference because this is you know like a complete story it's a standalone novel so if you only read this book it's completely fine you don't have to read the other two books but we will talk about the other two books as well so after reading the second book you have to read the third book because the third book is a continuation of the story that's going on in the second book and also there is quite a big cliffhanger at the end of the second book which is the girl who played with fire so when you read this book you have to sort of read the third book which is this one the girl who kicked the hornet's nest now in comparison to the first book the girl with the dragon tattoo this one is a bit more action packed so the first one is more investigative and there is you know more of an investigation going on but this one is more action packed and more adventurous in my opinion and then comes the last one now after reading the second book I took a huge gap like I did not read this book for months even though there was a cliffhanger and I you know I should have wanted to know what would happen but I was just not that intrigued I was just not that curious the second book did not have that great an impact that it would want you know that will push me to read this book so it did take me a lot of time and I I didn't want to read this book honestly because after reading the second book I just lost track of the entire story and I just sort of lost interest in the characters as well. 
now i will not take a lot of time to you know confess this fact that i loved the first book and i did not like the next two books so out of all the three books i only liked the first one and i actually fell in love with that book but sadly the author could not create that magic with the next two books i feel like the first book the girl with the dragon tattoo was well investigated well researched and well written plus it just had a great impact i feel like it was a seamless book absolutely flawless but that's not the case with the rest of the two books now let's talk a little bit about the characters of blomquist and salander now i feel like the characters do not grow with the books and that's actually a very sad thing because one of the most important elements of a series is that you get to see the development of the characters you get to see the characters grow in their life but that did not happen with this series and that's actually very sad because i feel like the author stig larsen was extremely genius and he was definitely a great mind and he could have pulled it off but i feel like he did not give that much of an effort to develop his character and to show us the character's growth through the book so for me blomquist's character did seem really good in the first book i actually grew fond of his character i did like him but there was a stagnancy in his character graph and there was no growth he was just the same i did not get to see you know different variations in his character and when it comes to lisbeth Salander's character people think that her character is like very innovative and new but i felt like her character is extremely cliched and uh, it's like just adding in interesting and cliched elements to make this character who is ex exceptionally unbelievable and not in a good way so it's like even though i love salander i cannot believe that a girl like salander exists not because i have some preconceived notions or not because i am prejudiced but because it just does not fit because the decisions that she is taking throughout the book and the way she is behaving at times does not fit with her personality that the author has tried to create from the very first book the author has tried to show us that salander has social issues that is she cannot socialize with everyone she cannot create you know long lasting relationships she has intimacy issues she cannot get close to people even if she does want to get close to a certain person she cannot because she has some issues which obviously stem from her life and the kind of life that she has lived because she has definitely gone through a lot in her life which sort of shapes her personality so the author has definitely tried to show her as a person who is not open with her emotions she is not an open book there is a kind of enigma to her character she is mysterious you just don't know what her life is what her past is you just have no idea and uh, yes that is a great thing to do but sometimes she takes decisions and sometimes she behaves in ways that does not resonate or is not congruent to her in her character and personality and as i already said that with the books i did not see her grow i did not see any development in her character which is very sad because i was actually very much interested and invested in her character so i would have loved to see different variations of her character and that just did not happen and which made me really really sad i wish the author did invest some more time in developing the characters now out of all the three books the last one the girl who kicked the hornet's nest is the weakest of all and it's just extremely stretched i cannot tell you how stretched this book is it is unbearable to finish this book at times it was i just felt like i will never be able to you know finish this book not because it's a huge book but because the story and everything the back story of the characters and all of that stuff was just driving me crazy and i don't know i just didn't feel like reading this book but i just wanted to finish it for the sake of it now the question is will i recommend this series to you guys now as i already told you that i loved the first book the second book was like all right it was a good thriller but that was all and i did not like the third one it was unbearably painful to finish this so i will just recommend you the first installment of the series that is the girl with the dragon tattoo because i loved this book but the other two books i think you can definitely skip if you don't read the other two books you will not be missing anything fantastic i feel like you can definitely go about your life without reading the other two books. 
books but definitely read this one all right guys so that was all for today's video i really hope that you all found this video valuable and enjoyed it as well if you did then definitely subscribe to my channel click on the bell icon so you are notified with all the updates and i'll see you in my next video until then bye bye